Hi there, I'm Mark from Converters.tv. Today I want to show you how to set up a video wall using Converters.tv's Video Wall Controller Processor. Now, you will need one single unit per screen. A single unit can be used to convert and upscale a VGA input up to a 1080p HDMI output either on a single screen or across the video wall. You will need one processor per screen. Today we are setting up a 2x2 two two screen video wall for ease of demonstration but with additional screens and processors you can build a 3x2, 3x3, 4x3, 4x4 and 5x5 five five screen video wall which may be upscaled to 720p or 1080p HD resolution. The units are simply plug and play and may be controlled either by a remote control or by an optional PC connection. So when you unbox each unit you should find a user manual, the video wall controller processor, a power supply and an IR connection and a remote control with batteries. For each wall processor in your desired setup you will need a screen with HDMI inputs and a HDMI cable. In addition you will need an input source with either a VGA or a HDMI output and cable and a VGA or HDMI signal splitter and output cables. You may optionally also attach an audio cable source into each of the devices for output with your video and turn HDMI audio input off. Since we are only setting up a four screen video wall we have four screens with four HDMI cables, four video wall controller processors, an Xbox 360 with a HDMI cable for our input source and a 1x4 HDMI splitter with four HDMI cables. For a larger video wall you will need a larger splitter or combination of splitters. Please ask us at converters.tv for advice on your setup as we have many HDMI splitters available for purchase. Setup is simple, so long as you keep your cables organised. First set up your input source and connect it via HDMI or VGA to your splitter. Organise your processors in front of you. Daisy chain them together with their RS-232 cables, plugging the first unit's RS-232 in to the next one's RS-232 out. Continue this until they're consecutively connected. The first processor should have nothing plugged into its RS-232 in socket, while the last one should have nothing plugged into its RS-232 out. Now, connect a VGA or HDMI cable between each processor's HDMI or PC in socket and your splitter's out sockets. The order for this does not matter, except for your own convenience. Organise your screens in the desired setup and plug a HDMI cable into each of them. Then, connect the other side of these cables into each processor's HDMI output socket in the appropriate order. This is where things get a little confusing in that your cables will most likely be crossing over one another to reach their appropriate screens. Please consult the graphics on screen for setup information as the screen numbering will run horizontally from left to right on one level and then from right to left on the next and will continue to reverse each level of screens down. Once you have sorted this out, connect power to all of your devices. The processors have a light on one side that indicates if it is on. The final step is to connect the first processor's IR cable. This will allow you to use the remote to control the devices. When you have powered all the devices on, the screens should by standard show a single image per screen. To change to video wall mode, press the button on the remote that matches your screen setup and the screens all together show one large image. To return to single images, just hit the single button on the remote. If pieces of the large image are out of place, you have most likely mixed up the screen HDMI's with the wrong processor. To correct, follow the HDMI cable from the mixed up screens to the processors they are plugged into and swap the cables round, 
keeping in mind that the consecutive ordering of the screens reverses horizontally each level of screens down you go. There are also many more adjustable options through the menu button, which brings up an easy to use on-screen display on your top left monitor. This will adjust common settings such as colours, brightness and contrast, as well as manual video wall setup such as height and width. So that's the lowdown on Converters.tv video wall controller processor, which lets you set up a 2x2 up to 5x5 screen video wall. For further information, follow the link below to the Converters.tv website. And there's more videos to come, so subscribe and find us on Facebook and Twitter if so inclined.